Welcome to the St. Michael Fall Podcast Series. My name is Andrew Grosso, and I will be leading our meditation today. Our theme this fall is Gifted, Identifying, Developing, and Practicing the Gifts that God has given us. May we offer our gifts joyfully for the sake of the Church and the world. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Our reading today is based on a passage from the Gospel according to Matthew, the sixth chapter, verses 25 through 34. Jesus said, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Therefore, do not worry, saying, what will we eat or what will we drink or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things, and indeed your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's trouble is enough for today. Here ends the reading. Jesus invites us to a way of life that is marked by the giving and receiving of gifts. When he tells his disciples, do not worry about what you will eat or what you will drink or what you will wear, he's not promising his disciples that food and clothing are magically going to drop out of the sky whenever the disciples are in need. The heart of the promise that Jesus makes here is that we are to strive first for the kingdom. We are to make the pursuit of righteousness our first priority. One thing that means is that our lives should be governed by a concern for the well-being of others. When the people of God live in a way that puts the needs of their neighbors before their own needs, then there is more than enough. When we strive to accumulate, we are not able to live a life that is marked by the giving and receiving of gifts. We are unwilling to receive anything we think we have not earned, and we are unwilling to give anything we think someone else has not earned. But when we strive not to accumulate for our own sake, but to provide for others, then we find ourselves giving and receiving all the time. We recognize everything we have as a gift that we have received, and we recognize everything we have is potentially a gift we can give to others who may need it more than we do. The reason we find it difficult to pursue lives lived by the giving and receiving of gifts is that this kind of life requires constant vulnerability. It requires the humility to admit our own need and the willingness to allow others to help us meet our needs rather than the assurance that comes from feeling what we have is ours because we've earned it. Living this way also requires us to be willing to give freely to others without regard for the cost or the consequence. This kind of life requires grace. The capacity to live with this kind of vulnerability is itself a gift, a work that only God can accomplish in us. So let us pray for the grace to strive first for the kingdom and to live lives marked by the giving and receiving of all the gifts that we have and all the gifts that we need. Amen. And now please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Heavenly Father, who has filled the world with beauty, open our eyes to behold your gracious hand in all your works, that, rejoicing in the whole creation, we may learn to serve you with gladness, for the sake of him through whom all things were made, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.